Titanic victory over a dread disease. When Jonas Salk developed the polio vaccine, the Salk vaccine against crippling polio proved to be a sensational success. He famously opposed the idea of patenting and profiting off the discovery. They weren't in this for making money, it just didn't interest him. Today, patents and profits have become central to the development of innovative drugs. Without patents, companies wouldn't have the incentive to bring a medicine to market. But with skyrocketing drug prices making headlines... In recent months, the price shot up almost 5,000%. They're priced disastrously and almost criminally too high. As the system designed to bring innovative drugs to market shortchanged the very people it's supposed to help. I think the public is not aware of all the stuff that goes on. It's not right. It's not fair. When the polio vaccine was rolled out in 1955, Dr. Jonas Salk, the scientist who developed the drug with funding from the March of Dimes, became an overnight celebrity. And the entire world heralded the discovery which assured an end to one of mankind's most dread diseases. Following that, um, Ed Murrow, who had a television program, interviewed my father, and one of the questions she asked was, who was the patent on this vaccine? Well, the people, I, I would say, there is no patent. If you look at the original tape of that interview, there's a moment where there's sort of a little bit of, uh, of pausing. And he thought for a moment, and then you could see the expression on his face just, just light up. He said, could you patent the sun? <laughs> he just saw this as, a, you know, this was just a, a natural evolution of science. The results belonged to, to the people. Well, that's the way it was in those days. Scientists had the view that you could either do well or do good, but that it was tough to do both. AIDS is the most serious epidemic to strike this country since the polio epidemic of the 1950s. By the time another public health crisis hit America, three decades later... The often deadly disease was unknown five years ago. Doctors now say it's a national epidemic. The pharmaceutical industry had changed dramatically. The costs of research and development had soared, and drug development, with expensive clinical trials, had become increasingly reliant on investment. Jonas Salk was interested in trying to develop an AIDS vaccine when he was approached by a venture capitalist and asked to collaborate and form a biotech company. My job was to finance the company. To start on an ambitious effort like the one we did with Dr. Salk, to get the best people working on this, you need to give them the opportunity that this is not just going to be a puff of smoke or a tumbleweed that's just going to blow away. Salk began to experiment with a vaccine using the AIDS virus itself. Patents are fundamental to that process. This was not a charity. 